Just a, another year with another shot at the SWAC title game on the line. The amount of consistency these two programs show, the rivalry, everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe how is this year different from last year? And then talk a little bit about your team's journey to get to this point. Well, it's different because it's a new season, but also there's, there's a lot more players that are different as well. So uh, we're looking forward to it. This is a huge event. It's something that I've been a part of for a number of years. Uh, the unique thing about the Bayou Classic is I've been the little kid that have have cheered on you know, the university to victory, but then I've also been the player on the field, and now I get a chance to be the coach on the sideline. So uh, it's definitely a huge event. It's a huge deal for both programs and both institutions. How about your team's progression? You know, losing the season opener, but then rolling right. off however many wins it's been now. I mean, how have you seen your team progress? Well, we've done a really good job of building blocks on the, on the building that, we, uh, that we're building. And uh, that's the way we go about each season is, you know, building a foundation with week one and then seeing where we are and then going from there. And, and I thought that we've done a really good job of, of, of continuing to build on what we've had to, what we've been able to accomplish this season. So uh, with a good quarterback, good running back, uh, and then also a really good defense, it gives you a chance to be successful. Since you got here, not counting y'all's games against each other, you and Coach Adams are 55 and 5 against right. the rest of the swag. Right. Uh, how do you get to that that level where, where it's really you two and kind of everybody else right now? Well, I think it has a lot to do with, you know, uh, the state of Louisiana. Um, you know, when you look at the players uh, that are available in this state, I think it speaks to the volume of the talent that's here uh, because a lot of our student athletes come from this state. Uh, but then secondly, I think it has a lot to do with our approach as coaches. You know, uh, there's a no-nonsense approach, you know, and a very disciplined approach, uh, which allows you to be successful. So uh, that's what it takes. But then also you have to be focused on the task at hand. And I think, you know, both teams do a really good job of focusing on what's right in front of them as opposed to thinking what's behind or, or two steps ahead.